This time, to present to us the Google Apps 101, Introduction to Google Applications as Distance Learning Tools for Students, let us hear it from Professor Azrin Marahom Salik, Faculty of the College of Information and Computing Sciences. Professor Azrin Marahom Salik is a licensed electronics engineer, ECE practitioner, a master's in information technology holder, an industry experience mainframe applications developer analyst, and a university professor since 2017. He began his career as a software engineer in Accenture Philippines Delivery Center way back in 2008. He also worked with leading solutions providers, both local and overseas, such as IBM Solutions Delivery Philippines, ITAC Outsourcing Malaysia, iSphere Global Philippines, and FIS Global Solutions Philippines Incorporated, all involving mainframe applications development in the financial industry. Currently, he is a faculty of the Department of Computing Sciences, College of Information and Computing Sciences, Mindanao State University, Marawi, and the Chief Admin Officer of the Fab Lab Marawi. He is also one of the co-founders of Marawi IT Solutions, It's Marawi, a local IT solutions provider based in Marawi City. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is uh, Azrin Marom Salik. I'm a faculty of uh, Department of Computing Sciences uh, from the College of Computing and Information Sciences, CICS, formerly College of Information Technology of the Mindanao State University, uh, MSU Marawi. Now, uh, today, uh, we'll be discussing Google Apps 101, uh, Introduction to Google Applications as Distance, distance Learning Tools for Students. Uh, just a brief background, you know, student data side tutor. Uh, we all know what is Google, you know, uh, it started, started with Yahoo. So, started as a search engine and then it somehow built uh, an environment so big na dami na niyang applications. So, uh, luckily, dun sa mga application na binibigay nila for free, may mga kasamang educational applications na pwede natin magamit for distance learning. So, yun yung itatry natin i-grab para at least uh, ano tayo na ito, utilize natin yung free uh, applications ni Google. Marami din ang iba, pero uh, focus muna tayo kay Google. Uh, aware naman din tayo lahat sa pangalan ni Google, so doon muna tayo kay Google. Okay, so let's start. Uh, let me just turn on this timer. Okay, so as an introduction, uh, or as an overview, ito yung flow ng ating discussion. So we only have 30 minutes. So I will, let's try to squeeze it in, uh, in the 30 minutes kasi yun yung binigay sa akong na um, interval. So introduction, we will, next will be Google history. Uh, next will be yung Google account, yung binigay ni Emisho Marawi. And then uh, we will talk about Google Workspace for Educational Fundamentals. This is the formerly uh, branded as G Suite. G Suite. So uh, next will be the tools for learning from that Google Workspace, yung mga applications, the usual issues, and then probably uh, we'll include some of the other options na pwede natin makuha sa cloud or online that we can use in uh, that we can use as the tools for distance learning as a students. Okay. So as an introduction, uh, now we all know uh, what has pandemic uh, uh, 
kumbaga cost niya or on yung uh, change niya lalo na sa uh, educational uh, sector or sa landscape ng education so as i think uh, the, there was this uh, chat memorandum na binigay tapos uh, on september 2 2020 last year guidelines on implementation of flexible learning so yung education sector natin DepEd and then chat somehow trying to go, go catch up kasi nga doon sa pandemic uh, walang face to face uh the education sector need to uh, catch up and then uh, how the 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 the, the thing that the, the thought of is a flexible learning uh, uh set up so what is flexible learning and the other terms distance learning virtual learning we can search the internet or uh, that there are a lot of uh, discussion about flexible learning so what we can do is just to sum it up siguro pero kung gusto niyo ng deep learning ko ano flexible learning uh, somehow it correlates to may face to face and then meron din online flexible in a way kasi hindi naman pwedeng full time din na talaga pwedeng mag face to face because of covid hindi uh, rin naman tayo pwedeng uh, online parate because lalo na sa Philippines the internet connectivity issues is dominant lalo na dun sa mga rural areas so you can really demand to the students na you need to be online because uh, uh, if the government wants to demand an internet uh, uh, wants the students to to go online then they should be able to provide that also in this case may challenges or difficulties ng government natin hindi sila pwedeng mag-demand so that's what I think so yun so guidelines and implementation of flexible learning this is uh, already given by uh, CHED and uh, there was also l- the latest uh, news uh, around May 2022 may kung talaga ano yung tayo may resistance pa kasi it was only that pandemic na parang na 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 push everybody to go online diba? to learn online to, to learn the tools online kasi nga the, 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 there's no face to face so everybody even the uh, not, not just the students not just the teachers but even the the retail industry the the, the fashion the food lahat so um, the latest uh, clippings lang to para show to you na si Chad talaga, in-emphasize na there's no going back on, on the, 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 the previous face-to-face arrangements. Kasi yun yung, as ako, as, ako, as a teacher din, medyo mas gusto ko yung face-to-face. Pero, no, mandated din ni Chad, there's no going back. Flexible learning will be the new norm. So, you know, we need to accept what is the new normal lang ngayon. So next, uh, we will uh, discuss about Google. So, uh, the history of Google. So it was founded on 1998. I think it started on 1995 and it was officially founded on 1998. Uh, the founders, Larry Page and Sergey, Sir, uh, Sergey Breen, or Sergey Breen. <laughs> and then uh, they, these are the founders. They started on as a, I think, the, the, the bot. The, 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 there was this initial product that they have and then they converted it to Google. Uh, there's something to do with the rub. Uh, yung pangalan ng first product nila and then change nila to Google kasi nga uh, may connotation din yung Google when it comes to numbers. So it's like uh, arrangement of numbers. Yun. Google, uh, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng Google? I think it, you can Google it. Kung ano, bakit yun yung history ng Google or ano yung pinangalan nila doon kay Google. So, yan yung mga founders natin. It was officially incorporated on September 4, 1998. 1998. And then, the, the, their mission talaga is to, to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. So, um, bigat ng vision nila to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. So, ang laki ng vision nila from that kunyari kung at 1998 yan na yung vision mo parang parang you're looking 10, 20, 30 years ahead 
So you were born uh, too soon. <laughs> Kasi sa Arla 1998, so yun na yung iniisip nila. So hats off to them. Uh, ang, ganda, ang ganda ng mission nila. So ito, uh, we, we move on dun sa Google account uh, uh, na binigay ni Emi Shumarawi. Uh, merong ibibigay si Emi Shumarawi na email address. Okay? And uh, yung email address, meron yan silang standard or ano ba? Template um, naming convention. Or meron silang convention. So yung convention, if you say we have Hakim, Uh, if we have Hakim B. Abdul yung uh, pangalan ng student we will have Abdul or the last name and then dot and then yung HB yan yung first name and middle name initials and then uh, number ang not sure kung saan nila generate ito siguro random lang if in case may parehas na Abdul HB iba yung number niya and then at sign And then it's followed by letter S as a student. Kasi I'm a faculty, wala kaming ganyang, kung sa amin na email, walang ganyang S. So, so student lang yung may S. So if you have an email and then may S, uh, ang student dyan na email. And then followed by that, msumain.edu.ph. Yang msumain.edu.ph, yan yung domain na pag-aari ni MSU. Kinuha nila yan kay uh, DICT. So, Department of Information and Communication Technology. So, again, kuku- uh, may bibigay sa inyo na email and then it will be coming from your college or usually sa chairperson or your advisor or yung ICT sino yung magbibigay kasi lately, uh, parang meron ako natinig ng news na nagkaka- may issues when it comes dun sa account na meron si msumain.edu.ph dun sa Google. So, antay-antay lang kayo, baka mabigyan lang kayo ng college nyo or ng ICTC. So, yun ang magbibigay sa inyo. Google account, temporary password, and when you, uh, since this is a temporary password, you need to change it, no? Pa magdalagin kayo. So, I'm not sure if ang audience ko ngayon is uh, techie, techie, ano ba tawag na? Techie na sila or informa sila when it comes to sa online kasi uh, uh, I would like to think na alam na nung mga listeners natin or yung mga viewers natin kung ano yung online platform for online, uh, how to go online kasi nga they go into the senior high school and senior high school before them or during their senior high school is meron na silang online distance learning medyo alam na nila so just for the sake of those who don't have uh, the experience to, 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 to be techie. Okay? So we just consider them and then uh, uh, let's just teach them kung paano talaga. So, uh, ito, uh, the, the, this will appear in your well, Chrome, uh, Chrome or web browsers. If you go in your web browsers, either Bing, Chrome, uh, ano pa, Mozilla, Opera, Uh, meron pang Brave, yun, open source. Uh, just click on Gmail uh, or g- google.com and then may makita kayong uh, sign-in account doon. So ito, magsa-sign in kayo. So nilalagyan nyo dito sa email, yung binigay sa inyo na email, yung abdulhb 39emissionmain uh, at s.emissionmain.edu.ph and then, syempre, hihingi niya yung Uh, password, yung temporary password nyo. And then, pag nilagin kayo, you, ito prompt kayo to change the password. Ang nakikita nyo dito is msumain.edu.ph. Walang S kasi yan yung account ko. So, parang, para makita nyo lang kung ano yung expect nyo. Now, that's it for the Google account. Punta naman tayo sa Google Workspace or yung kung ano yung in-avail ni uh, ang tawag nito ni MSU na account for uh, the constituent. So, uh, maybe later i-correct ako ng ICTC or kung sino man sa kanila if this is wrong. Pero as per research, uh, I've come to a conclusion na ito yung uh, ito yung in-avail niya kasi because of this data, no? Ang in-avail, ang suspect ko na in-avail ni 
uh, MSU is yung Google Workspace for Educational Fundamentals. This is formerly known as G Suite for Education. So, uh, free ito for qualifying institutions. So, may process yan. Mag-apply sila, it will take something. 30 days, and then, iaalaw muna nila so for free 30 days, and then, sa kanila i-award. Pero may mga limit yan kung ilang numbers yung pwedeng accounts na ibigay sa kanila sa so, so, so. so, bring your school community together with a free suite. So, free talaga to, ah. Free suite of tools that enable better communication and collaboration. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung binigay sa atin is edu.ph. msumain.edu.ph. Kapag kasi may edu, yung binigay sa inyo na domain, uh, for example, yung email din, we have been found for education yan. So, inasa siguro ni Google nung nag si sa MSU na magkaroon ng ganito, makita niya edu, and then may mga ibang credentials din. So, inalaw na sila. So, as for the features, uh, essential education tools and features like uh, classroom, docs, sheets, slides, forms, and more. So, uh, later on, yung mga tools na to, i- i-discuss natin, pero hindi kaya in 30 minutes ng uh, deep learning, ano, more on introduction lang. So, collaboration tools, communication tools, meron tayong Google Meet, Gmail, Gchat, data loss prevention for Gmail, and Drive, uh, Google Drive, and then also may mga compliance then. So, you don't need to bother about this for PACO, PA, and then GDPR, pero yun yung mga standard na compliance na dapat i- i- tawag nito, i- i- comply ni Google because they're uh, actually using your personal details. They're using the MSU. Yung data na na-accumulate ni Google uh, doon sa pag-sign in or pag-subscribe ni MSU is may access sila dyan. Pwede sila mag-generate ng reports ng kung ano-ano na pwede nilang gamitin in their, in their business. Mga analytics, mga reports. So we will not be discussing about that. Just, just to give you a brief background. Kasi baka magtaka kayo, wow, binigay ni Google, free, ano? Uh, so panahon ngayon, if it's for free, I think uh, we can, uh, you can, uh, ano bang tayo? You can say na na meron pa rin yan silang na bearing or meron silang pinanghahawakan. It's not because they're eating for free and then di ka nagbayad wala na silang silbi doon sa kina uh, wala na silang silbi doon sa endeavor na yun kasi probably yung data na ginagawa nyo is uh, meron silang use doon. So, ito, kung tinignan ko yung subscription, yung account ko, emissionmedia.edu.ph, nakita ko walang subscribe. So, tinignan nyo, you don't have any subscription. So, more likely, yung ganun din yung sa inyo. So, doon ko nakita na since wala tayong subscription, free yung kinuha natin. Kasi free nga for qualified institutions. So, yan yung Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals. Now, just the tips, ano, uh, before, uh, ano bang tawag mo, dapat malaman ng each and every one na gumagamit ng uh, Google Workspace or Google account, I'm assuming that it will not be each. Itong mga, uh, itong mga to, no? So, I would read it now. Google Workspace services are managed by your administrator. So, sino yung administrator natin? Dito sila. So, MSU Main Help Desk. MSU Main Help Desk. Help Desk at MSU Main at edu.ph. So, meron kayong issue. You can email them. Or visit us at ISDCAT for help with your username or password. So, uh, previously kasi si ISD under CIT. So, ngayon, uh, nag-branch out na sila. They already have this ICTC, Information Communication Technology Center. So, wala na siya, hindi na siya under sa CIT. Uh, meron silang sariling office na doon sa likod ng CIT, which is their formerly CICS. So, another thing, ito. Admin Google.com is used for Google Workspace accounts only. Regular Gmail accounts cannot be used to sign in to admin Google.com. Kasi uh, I, I tried to sign in sa admin.google.com para makita ko kung ano talaga yung subscription na binigay sa atin ni MSU Main. Uh, I can't access it kasi ito yung sinabi niya, admin that Google that is used for Google Workspace accounts only. So, regular lang naman yung Gmail accounts ko so hindi ko maka-access yung admin. So, I really can't tell kung ano yung uh, alin doon kasi may mga paid services yan. Merong yung kinuha natin na free, 
meron yung another tier dyan, $3 per student. You know, next dyan is $4 per student annually. And then next dyan is yung $5 uh, per student annually. So yung kinuha natin is free. So hindi ko rin ma-confirm kasi nga yung hindi ko makita dun sa admin, wala rin akong access. So ito talaga yung kailangan yung uh, inote, ano? Note, when you use Google Workspace services, for example, Google Drive, your administrator has access to data you store in these services. So what does that mean? Kapag nilagin mo, syempre, uh, just to say to you plainly, ano, pwedeng ma-access ng mga administrator ng MSU yung mga files natin doon sa Google Drive. Lahat yun. Google Forms, Google Docs, Google Sheets, uh, marami silang apps. Okay. So, it is worth noting na may, uh, may access yan sa kanila. May access si uh, administrator dyan. As per note ni Google. So, ingat lang. Or uh, huwag kayong basta-basta maglagay ng kung ano-anong personal stuff dun sa account nyo, lalo lang sa Google Drive nyo kasi uh, para makaiwas sa uh, ano ba, kung ano mga dapat iwasan when it comes to your personal the data na ayaw nyo i-share sa public. What are tools for learning? Itong package na kinuha ni MSU, no? yung Google Workspace uh, for Educational Fundamentals. So this will include mostly Google Docs, Slides, Sheets, Google Drive, Google Forms. Uh, familiar naman kayo dun. I think yung Docs, Slides, Sheets, Drive, yung Forms. Pero itong Jamboard, uh, assume din nyo pa niyan alam. It's like a whiteboard na pwedeng mag-collaborate yung mga tao. So imagine niyo meron kayong paintbrush. Kung aware kayo sa paintbrush, ba paintbrush na sa Microsoft, imagine niyo meron kayong paintbrush. May mga whiteboard ka dyan na pag nagsulat yung isa, makakasulat din yung isa online. So, ginawang online yung paintbrush. So, that, you can, that everybody can collaborate. So, that is Jamboard. Parang online whiteboard. So, yun. So, we also have this classroom. Oh, let me... Let me... Okay, this your point. So, we have this Jamboard, ano? Uh, we also have this classroom. Ito yung mostly gagamitin ng mga teachers para i-handle yung classrooms ninyo. So, yan mamaya, i-demo natin kung paano gumana yung Google Classroom and using this applications. And how to communicate Gmail, Google, Google Meet, Google Chat. So, this is the communication tools. Ito naman yung ano ba, productivity tools, uh, personal. Gagamitin mo ito, Keep, Task, Calendar. They're the same with, with the, the Microsoft uh, version na meron din tayong calendar, meron din tayo. Pero itong keep, this, this stands for notepad or yung ba, sticky notes. Meron kang gusto ilagay na notes. Keep, you get to keep notes. Task naman, yun yung mga ina-assign mo na tasks. Eh. So, if aware kayo sa Trello, eh, it's it's a subset of Trello. Kasi, you know, med- medyo complicated yun sa Trello, they can collaborate sa task kasi this is only for you. Hindi mo pwedeng i-share yung task mo. So, like dun sa Trello. So, ito yung mga so far na tools for learning na nakalagay doon sa bundle ng Google Workspace for Educational Fundamentals. Pero ning admin, pero si admin lang yung makaka-assist. So, let's proceed. Gmail. First and foremost, ang makukuha mo is yung Gmail account na uh, they tag it as institutional email, ano? So, yun yung bibigay sa'yo. So, when you log in, when you are invited, ito, we're gonna start from the beginning na in-invite kayo ng mga, mga professors ninyo, no? Uh, when you log in sa Gmail, kasi meron ka ng account, ilagin mo, and then you get invited by the, the professor. Ito yung makukuha mo. Ano, email, class invitation, tapos yung class name, and then when you click on the insights, in that email, so yan, meron kayo invitation. Uh, ang pangalan kasi ng account na linagay ko, Tinesco, is FabLab. So sinabi, hi FabLab, uh, teacher uh, invited you to the class. Ito. So ako to, invited you to the class. So this is me inviting FabLab to join the CS194 by 
Well, the class that I did. So, ako yung teacher, you just need to click the join button. So, from there, mapuprompt ka na dun sa next amount of steps. Next. So, we will be doing a Google Classroom demo. Let me check the time. Oh, I only have eight minutes. So, uh, Google Classroom demo, let's go to... So, this is you. Let's just see here. This is you. Uh, I'm going to log in. Imagine this is your account. Okay. you get prompted to the, the to the to your gmail account so this is your gmail account now uh, i'm going to my account as a teacher to invite you to join the class so let me just go to my so this is me this is my account if you can if you notice i have a lot of classroom uh, I joined so i'm going to use this test classroom this is me, like my account. This is as in what I'm saying. What I'm saying at the at PH. This is how you check. Kung ano yung nakasign in accounts, okay? Marami kasi akong accounts na ginagamit. So, this is how you make sure. You just click on the picture, the topmost right, and then confirm that it is your account. Otherwise, if it's not, you click kung ano yung tama. Okay? So, this is the right account. Ito yung account ko as a teacher. Pupunta ko dito sa Google Classroom ko na, ano ba? the uh, UI or user interface then I will go to the people this is CSC CSC 101 by AMM that's me first SAM 2021 so nilagyan ko lang ng text so, kung may kita nyo pwede kasing mano-mano yung ilagay dito ng mga teachers so ako ang nilalagay ko yung subject and then yung ako by AMM and then yung first SAM of 2021 so, nilagay ko lang ang test para pang test dito sa, sa presentation natin. So, I have this section, WX. So, if I would like to add the students, currently, walang students. So, I would like to add. Luckily, yung lahat ng accounts ninyo uh, as a student, nakasave na yan sa Google, uh, ano ba? Google Storage, lahat ng accounts nyo. So, if I search on the first name or the last name of the students, makikita ko sila. In this case, ang, like, ang search ko si FabLab, which is yung hawak ko ng student, kanyari na ka. Kasi yung dalawa, kas, kailangan ko lang yung dalawang account na msumay.edu.ph. Ito yung pwede kong i-demo. So I choose FabLab, may drop-down na search list. Kanyari, meron ko lang nagay dito na dool. So yan, meron maraming mga research, uh, search kayo din. So ikaklik mo lang. So ang ganda, no? Kasi you don't need to really memorize their email. You just need to know their first name and last name, then confirm. Search mo, and then you add. In this case, FabLab. Yung lalaroin natin. So FabLab, I invited. This is the uh, teacher account. Ah. So I'm going to invite the students. Kung nakikita nyo, in-invite ko na siya. And then we we'll go to the students the account. Ayun, kita nyo. Yun ang invitation. So let's go here. Kita ko yung invitation ko. <laughs> sa dun sa student account ko and then let's join how many minutes oh I have 4 minutes okay, let's extend for 15 minutes so in here may kita nyo yung nandito na yung account ko ako si FabLab kunyari ito yung students and then may pinost sir dito ako yun hi class may kita nyo parang Facebook oh. may mga post from top ang ta, pinaka top yung pinaka latest so yun yung pinaka latest na uh, you, you can notice here, merong stream, parang Facebook, merong classwork, kung ano yung mga in sa inyo, and then merong people, kung sino yung mga nasa uh, team ninyo, or dun sa classroom yun, or sa yun, classroom na yun. So, we go to the classroom uh, stream, kung ano yung pwedeng announce dito pa. I'm not sure kung allow ng teacher, no, pero you can, I'm not, you can also, uh, you cannot, you can post. Ayun, pwede ka mag-post. It's like Facebook. You can post. You can attach Google Drive, any files from your Google Drive, upload, add link, or anything that you can add, and then you can also type. So you can 
do a lot of things to communicate with your teams here. So, meron kayong collaborations. And then, ito rin, if you have, uh, if you want to comment doon sa sinabi ng teacher nyo, copy, sir. Uh, that's easy. So, here, mga, mga, syempre, parang, it's like Facebook. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure alam nyo na yung Facebook. It so happened, uh, so, kung mo itatanong ninyo, sir, paano yung mga exams? So, I will only give you a one, one exam, okay? Kasi pwede, marami kasi pwedeng options. So, I will give you a one exam so that uh, at least hindi na kayo matakot when pag may binigay si mong ibang teachers na ibang form of exam. Kasi there, there, there will be a lot of forms. Ayaw kong i-discuss lahat ng strategy ng ginagawa ng mga teacher kasi hindi yung presentation natin niya para lang introduce yung Google Apps sa inyo. So, this is Google Apps na Classroom. So, let's discard. Let's go to Classwork. Walang nilagay si Professor. So, wala pang Classwork dito. No? Let's see doon sa account ko. Uh, first quiz, meron ako nakadraft dito. Meron ako nakadraft. So, I'm not using the teacher account. Meron na ako nakadraft. Uh, pag kinlik ko to mapuprompt ako sa Google Forms ito yung quiz na ginawa ko so meron na akong sample dito ng mga questions uh, may points 10 points merong true or false may uh, multiple choice merong check uh, checklist kung check nyo kung sino yung tama meron ding paragraph in answer and then meron ding pwede kang magsabit ng PDF file. So, pwede yung maraming options yan. So, from here, let's go back. I-edit ko yung assignment. Ako yung teacher. I-assign ko na to doon sa mga students. So, ang students ko lang pa naman si Afab Lab. Eh. So, from here on, nakadraft pa yun, i-assign ko yan. Assign. So, as a, as a teacher, in-assign ko na yung exams. Uh, may kita niyo dito sa classwork, meron nang in-assign, wala pang turn in. So, naka-attach na yan yung uh, exam na to. So, let's just remove this first muna. Para at least, huwag kayo malito. So, yeah. balik tayo dun sa account ni student. Ano? Nag-assign na si teacher ng exams. Saan ko yung may kita? Siyempre, when you, you, you log in in your classroom and then may kita niyo dapat yun sa classwork. From stream, punta kayo dun sa classwork click nyo yung first quiz. So, from there, saan, saan ba ako next to click, sir? So, click nyo lang itong first quiz example. So, pupram kayo dun sa Google Forms na ginawa ko as an exam. So, there, you will answer kung ano yung answer na nyo. True or false? COVID is a virus. True. Uh, who is the current president of the Philippines? Uh, Duterte, uh, what are the types of the examples? So you just select uh, options and then how did the COVID-19 change your life? So blah, blah, blah. Kung ano-ano nung... Kasi ito pwedeng paragraph yung answer mo sa mataas. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then you can also add your PDF files if, kunyari, sinabi ni teacher, submit your picture, submit your kung ano mang files. You can select from your local, or you can have your drives. Meron pang drive. Doon sa Google Drive. So, uh, once you're done, uh, you submit it. And minsan, hinahayaan ni teacher na makita niyo yung score. So, kung pag tinina mo yung score, yun, kita mo na, 10 over 30. So, makikita mo rin kung saan ka naman eh. So, minsan kasi, yung mga teacher, ayaw nilang maglagay na, ayaw nila i-share yung mga answers kasi nga, uh, pwedeng i-share mo dun sa iba tapos saka mag-exam yung kasama mo edi talo ka. Sinare mo yung answers dun sa isa, edi di na siya pwede. Mas malaki niyo mo mag-grade niya. Unlike, kung kasi yung nauna, share mo na lang yung answers. Pero pwede rin naman yung i-disable ng mga teachers na hindi mo makita yung mga answers. So this is them showing you na ito yung ang tawag na ito, ito yung uh, Ito yung nakuha mo. So, open assignment. May turn in ka na. Once you submit that, pag tinina ko yung account ko sa as a teacher, meron ng turn in. Kanina, assign dyan. So, ito yung account ko sa teacher. Kita ko, uy, turn in. So, uh, tingnan ko, tingnan ko kung sino yun. 
yung assignments, ayan yun si FabLab. Kung makikita ko, mag-import ako ng trades. Importing, makikita mo na 10 out of 30. So, yun lang kadali yung usually ginagawa ng mga teachers. I'm not sure kung meron pang ibang discard yung ginagawa ng mga ibang teachers, pero this is the most simplest way kasi pwede pang when I created the, the, the when we try to create the exam, pwede pa yung lagi ng rubrics. So, depende yan sa discard ng teacher. So, that's how you see it. Makikita mo na uh, ikaklik ko, i-return ko, na-check ko na, i-confirm ko na na uh, ang nakuha ni FabLab is 10, i-return ko. Pag tingnan mo muna natin kung anong nasa uh, nasa classwork mo. So far, wala ka pang score niyan or hindi pa siya natuturn in your assignment. So, wala ka pa. Your work Uh, na, na turn in na, wala ka pang scores. So, if teachers, like the new teacher, i-return niya yan, makikita mo dapat or may comment ako, good luck, better luck next time. Better luck next time. Yun. Uh, return. Hmm. So, yan. Kita nyo, ni-return ko na. Parang this is how we, at, as teachers, giving back the, the fun, parang graded na yung, o oh, yun, minark na as graded. So, nag-graded ka na dun sa first quiz. So, dun naman sa, sa view mo, if you go to your accounts, and then classwork, and then view your work, kita mo dun yung first, ko ano, first, let's see. Ito. First quiz. Yan yung first quiz mo, di ba? So, dito yung mga 10 over 30. <laughs> so, if you want to go to details, nandito yung lahat ng details ng exam. So, that's how you use uh, Google Classroom. Now, I think we over... No? So, we uh, exceeded the 30 minutes. So now I think I still have 15 minutes to extend or less. So, let's go to our presentation. Hopefully, na-follow nyo kung paano ko nagbigay ng exam. Yung teachers, paano rin nag-exam yung mga students. Yung paano na bigay yung grades. Paano chinect ng mga teachers. Pwede rin kasi nila i-check yun mano-mano sa forms. So, in this case, parang diniretso na niyang return to the students. So, this is my account. Uh, na-return ko na. May kita ko na yung mga grades dito. If I want to... If I want to grade the students na... Nito yung grades, may kita ko. So, may sample, marami kayong, marami kayong, anong tawag nito, marami kayong columns dito kung ano yung mga exam nung ginawa ng mga students. So, in this case, if I'm lab. So, let's move on to sa presentation. Google Classroom demo. Uh, other applications. So, we have uh, Docs, Slide Sheets, Drive Forms, Chromeboard. So, just to, for the sake na ma ma makarelate tayo, no? Si Google Docs is actually the same as si Microsoft Word. Si Google Slides, kaparehas niya si PowerPoint. Si Google Sheets, kaparehas niya si Excel. Si Outlook, Gmail, uh, and then itong Google Drive, OneDrive. Okay, meron ding forms. Wala, wala atang forms dito. Si, ah, baka meron. Saan ko lang. I'm not aware of the Google Forms. Ito yung na-mention ko kanina si Jamboard na parang whiteboard lang. So let's just see kung ano yung pwedeng i-offer. Ang iba, no? Let's see. Uh, docs. Google. Punta siya dapat. Docs.google.com I don't want to tour. Create na tayo ng blank. So it's like Microsoft Word. Okay? You just need to type. And then, just like uh, Microsoft Word, may file, so on and so forth, insert format, so you can do this meron siyang menu, and then meron siyang center, align, so on and so forth, yung mga natutunan sa Microsoft Word. If you want to rename this, sample document. Sample docs, Google Docs. And then, let's move on. Ito yung sa docs. Let's move on naman din sa sheets. Sheets that And then, while it's loading, let's also go to slides. 
So ito, pag-create ka ng blank, it's the same as Excel, di ba? So, sample, sample of Google spreadsheet. And then, we also have slides. Ito yung kaparehas niya si PowerPoint. Okay, so it looks like PowerPoint, di ba? Now, uh, ano yung difference niya dun sa mga current app? Ito, like ganito ang ginagamit, ginagamit ko sa PowerPoint. Ang ginagamit ko kasi ngayon ng PowerPoint is local, hindi siya online. Ang difference nitong si Docs, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides, lahat to nasa cloud, so ma-access nyo lang sila online. So kung magtatanong kayo saan nakalagay itong mga to, let's just say example, Google Slides. Masa-save na yan, automatic, saving din, save the drive. So let's go to our drive. So ano ba yung drive? Yan yung nandun lahat yung mga sinasave natin ng files in the cloud. So let's drive.google.com. So parang siyang may computer pero online. Okay. So makikita nyo, this is my account, FabLab. So yan yung students natin. And then you can see here, ito yung, nandito na kagad yung mga recent ko na documents. Sample Google, sample Google Sheets, sample Google Docs. So yun yung mga kinrate natin latest. And then ito yung mga ibang files ko na nandito existing na. It's like my computer, di ba? Yung sa my computer yan. Documents, you can create folders, so on and so forth. Ang kaibahan lang online to. If you wanna create a folder, new folder, asan dito yung new folder? Nandito wala. Open, so we're in order. Don't know. New folder, upload files, new Google Docs, sheets, slide forms, and all. so on and so on. So, marami yan. What I'm trying to show you is that kung merong pinasubmit si teacher nyo ng document, pwede dito. Pina spreadsheet pwede dito. PowerPoint pwede rin dito. Now, ang kayo, ang kagandaan dito kasi, since we're using Google Classroom, anything that you do, you can actually integrated with these files, docs, spreadsheets, and then the Microsoft Drive. Paano, if say, you want, punta tayo sa screen, tapos siguro kang mag-attach kay sir. Punta ka lang sa Google Drive, makikita mo nandun yung mga files mo. So, ganun yung advantage ni, ito yung mga kanina ginawa natin, sample Google, sample Google Slide, and sample docs. So, kaklik mo lang yan, Nandun na. Uh, parang maganda yung integration ng apps ni Google when it comes sa uh, cloud. Uh, uh, ano ba? Cloud applications na, na in-offer nila. So, pwede nandyan na yung sina, uh, nakatas. Click mo lang. Or yung YouTube. Kasi kay Google din naman. YouTube din. Yung YouTube din naman kay Google yan. So, kung merong mga ibang link, kanyari Facebook, pwede rin nilagay. So, yun yung ina-emphasize namin na since si Google, free yung binigay niya, Uh, we are inclined to use, make use of them. Kasi we, 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 uh, ang daming available sa, sa market. Okay? So, pero, so, so happen na, bibigyan ka nila ng trial period na 30 days or um, ilang months and then later on, the, i, 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 paid subscription ka na. But in the case of Google, up till now, pwede ka pang gumamit ng free. May news dati na parang Uh, pati yung education sector, hindi na nila if free, pero hindi pa naman nagkakaroon. Ganun. Parang may limit pa sila. Ganun ka-powerful si Google. So, yun ang gusto namin i-encourage sa mga students to make use of these free applications. Kasi, if we want to use this MS Office uh, MS uh, Office applications, may bayad na to. After nung trial, magbabayad ka na. Unlike dito, kay Google, mga libre. So, yun yung Uh, power, uh, ano ba ang tawag nito? Edge talaga ni Google. They make it uh, free for everybody. So, recommended communication naman when it comes to distance learning ng mga students, you have Gmail, yung kanina yung nilagin na nyo. You have Google Meet, pwede kayong mag- uh, and then you have Google Chat, pwede rin kayong mag-chat. Pero ano yung gusto namin i-recommend? Use Facebook Messenger. Why? Why, sir? Kasi si Facebook Messenger, meron siyang free data. Ito yung term na zero rating. Si Facebook, binayara niya yung lahat ng data na ginagamit sa Facebook Messenger para sa lahat ng tao. So, kaya lahat ng tao, pwedeng i-access si free data, yung free data sa Messenger. Kasi nga, binayara niya ni Facebook. Siguro, binayara niya kayo. 
sa government o kung sino man. Pero yun yung tawag ng zero rating na instead yung tao, iba usually yung tao yung magsasubscribe ng data and then uh, gagamitin nila ng data per peso or ano, with this amount of data, ganun din yung uh, may, may corresponding amount in peso or in dollars. Pero this, in this case, this, ni zero rate yung Facebook Messenger yung service niya para ma-access lahat ng mga tao. So kapalas dito yung ginawa ni BPI na BPI app, uh, pwede niyo rin yung i-access na kahit wala kayong load na data. So, uh, yun yung advantage ni Facebook Messenger. Ano? Si Gmail, Google Meet, and si Google Chat, pwede niyo sila access kung meron kayong internet or kung may load kayo. Pero si Google Messenger, kahit wala kayong load, pwede kayong ma-chat ni sir, ni ma'am. So when it comes to communication or mayroong announcement na kailangan ibigay si teacher, might as well gamitin nila si Facebook Messenger kasi kahit walang load yung students or kung sino man, maka-accept, marireceive nila yung yung communication kasi nga, zero rating. So yun yung recommendation when it comes to communication or announcements. You can use a Facebook Messenger. Now, sa mga usual issues, wag, wag yung technical, ha, more on one lang. Uh, basic issues. So, ang pinaka-modeling issue, maraming issues yung multiple Google accounts login. So, minsan, sa sinasabi ng mga students, Sir, hindi ako na-invite, uh, wala ako sa classroom, ganyan-ganyan. Kasi nga, if you check on kung sino yung naka-sign on, iba yon. So, you need to always check on the right side, topmost right side. Dito. Kung sino yung naka-login, ikaw ba or ibang accounts mo. So, that's one issue. Next is yung time limit for exam. Meron ako nakita ang plugin na in-install ko sa uh, sa Google para matayman yung mga bata. Pero it turns out na hindi siya gumagana properly or hindi ko na pagana properly. So for now, wala akong alam na pwedeng mag-time limit. Uh, ang ginagawa ng mga teachers is meron silang sariling time limit. Sasabihin nila sa mga students, 9.30, may exam tayo. And then after, nine, uh, after 10 o'clock, ika-close ko na yung exam. So ganun yung ginagawa yung time limit exam. Pero usually, dapat nasa application yan. Kasi if you're going to go uh, synchronous, dapat kahit well, hindi kayo parehas, hindi kayo parehas online, uh, pwede pa rin kayong mag, uh, ang tawag nito, mga distance learning. Next is yung examination integrity. Siyempre, hindi, there's no stopping it. Paano, how do you, how do you assess the integrity of the exam? Or yung, uh, the, the, the takers? Paano mo alalaman na walang naka, wala siyang hawak na libro when taking the exam or naka-altab siya parati doon sa uh, mga internet kung paano <laughs> nag-search siya pag exam. So, yun yung mga issues, usual issues. Pero, for now, I'm not sure kung ano yung sagot dyan. Uh, siguro, on the next mga ibang presentation, ma-address uh, nila yan. Pero for now, let's not, uh, doon muna tayo sa apps or doon sa mga usual issues na na-encounter dito sa mga, lalo sa Google Classroom. Uh, majority yung gagamitin. So other options naman, we have Office 365. We also have uh, iWork for Mac or Apple. And then we also have Zoho. Meron din silang ganong suite or group of applications. Pwede niyo yung gamitin, pero uh, di ba may free laptop na parating, inshallah. So meron one drive na gagamit, uh, free yun. But I think it's only for one year. After one year, kailangan niyo nang magbayad. So... Yun yung kay Office 365. Yung makukuha niyo mga laptop, meron nang nakalagay doon na uh, Office 365 account. So hopefully, sana i-renew ni MSU, yung account nila na education para magamit pa, makagamit dito ng Office 365 for free sa atin. Pero baka babayaran ni MSU. So yun lang. Yun yung mga ibang options natin when it comes to uh, distant learning tools when you, sa using Google applications. So we don't have time for questions because this is pre-recorded. So that's it for now. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, sorry, medyo na baba, no? So hopefully, meron kayo natutunan. So that's it for now. Uh, my name is Azrin Marumsali. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh.